Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Serious Tragedy Game and welcome back to Humankind. So, let's take a look at what's going on. We've just in the last episode discovered this steam engine. So right in around now, coal is starting to become a very important uh, resource. And that being said, there is a little bit of coal to be found here in this northern region of Tikal. Tikal is, uh, well, a competitor of ours. They are part of the Mayans. So. I say let's do try to take that because as I understand with coal there's a huge importance to having as much of that as possible so you know what they uh, these guys have been annoying us for a while our war support does um, is sufficient for a surprise war here so let's go ahead and do that we're gonna start that right away and then we actually need to look at these guys because yeah we can see that a couple of these guys here can be upgraded so Let's do that, I suppose. How about you guys? Oh, you can also be upgraded. Interesting. How much are you to upgrade? Not that much. 41. You would be actually much better than one of the great swordsmen. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Right, and then you know what? One more for you guys. Yeah, because you'd be... You'd start to change from ranged to gunner. And that is important because then you are actually capable of defending yourself. It does cost us quite a bit of money, but here we go. Let's start the siege, which we're of course immediately going to turn into an assault. And a manual battle like that. Right, with that being said, you guys can now switch around here. Let's do take the gunners to the front. I do think we can keep the pikemen up there and into the side. And then sort of everyone else is going to be a little bit behind everything else, but that's going to be fine. So end the deployment here. Start by gunning down these troops. Yes, they are behind the walls there, but I do think that should be enough to actually get them out of there. That's fine. Yeah, that does indeed work. Let's do move you guys up. Can we attack? Yeah, we can. I think we should actually down downhill here. Yeah, that was a good attack. Right, let's do bring forward our further units. You guys can shoot somewhere. No, you can't really. In that case, do move over there, and then let's move you forward, and then you guys can start to make your way about there. I don't think it's going to be relevant, but we're going to see. Right, and there you can see these guys can actually defend themselves halfway fine, so that's good. That's it? I think so. Right. Let's start by shooting. Can I shoot anyone with these archers? No. It's a little bit funny how the game does model, and I think it actually does that fairly well, uh, how the game does model the fact that uh, sort of the gunnery troops, they are pretty strong, but they are less flexible um, than maybe some other things were before. Can you attack these guys, please? Come on. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Move you up. Can't move you further there. And here's the issue. We can't actually scale these walls with these guys, so... That is a bit unfortunate. Yeah, we can't really do anything about that. So, I suppose let's start to move around. Even further? Yeah, why not? Okay, that should be everyone. Let's end the run. You guys are gonna attack them, I suppose. Yeah, you are. Well, these guys might actually be in a little bit of trouble there. Yeah, they are. But I don't think it's too bad. Right, we can shoot them. We can move up over here. We can attack them now. And the archers, maybe? No. Move you back anyway. Move you to the front. Yeah, and you can't scale, nor can you do anything else. So we're going to keep you just immediately there. You guys are going to move forward. And we're going to end the turn. Opponent's turn, and then I suppose it's going to be our turn next time around. If they don't die. They do, so that's good. That does mean they're losing this city, which is fantastic. Good. And that's great. So, that should be ours uh, next turn. Let's see what else we've got. We've got Atchworth here. You have actually built the manufacturing, and I do really like... It's a bit weird, but I do like how we are building... Sort of, we've got the industrial area, we're building manufactories, we're building train stations, or we should be building train stations soon. Um, and yet, at the same time, we are using Great Swordsmen to fight our battles. Right, that being said, I think one of the things that we can do over here is start building a saddle up, because I don't think we have one of these guys yet. So, let's do establish them, and then we're going to send them out 
to find a location up here and maybe found a city or so. Right, that being said, what else can you guys do? Ooh, there are some, some good things down there, but I do think over here is should also, also be okay. Right, yeah, some money is never a bad idea. Research quarters you really don't have, but you do have population. That actually makes you a kind of good choice here, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it does. I think it does. Question is, how are we going to use that to our advantage? Now, there is some oil here, which we could use in the long run. I suppose building a, one of these districts over here is going to be fine. And then, well, yeah, we could as well use the desert. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do use that desert. Right, and then lastly, one over here. No, one up there in the north. Okay. Right. Hmm. Again, that doesn't seem to be... Well, there's some stuff to be said about around building one over here. But maybe we should build an industrial district here first. 22, 21. 17 only here. Ah, well. Let's do build one over there. That's fine. We're actually going to prioritize that over everything else so that you are getting some infrastructure earlier and that should be okay. Okay, I say. Right, let's uh, do move up all of our armies. This is starting to get a lot of armies. Uh, let's do start down here with this little shippy. You know what? Let's try to explain these planes here. And we've got you guys. You are in the south here of this terrain. Now, I think it might be a little bit better if we take you guys up here. Yeah, no, no, no. We should follow this river, shouldn't we? Ah, but we can't. There's a gap here. Let's uh, start looking what's down there. And then with these guys, we can't bring them on that plateau. So I suppose we're going to need to walk up here. That's it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's proper knights in this uh, time span, which is kind of funny. Right, you guys do heal up for a second here. And then we've got our brilliant elephants here with the ballista, uh, which are currently standing a little bit awkwardly in the way, but uh, let's see what else we've got over here. Ooh, some also peaches, ooh, and some desert tribe there. Uh, also a lot of pikemen, which I really would like to avoid. Right, so what have we got here? You've got more influence and stuff. Mm -hmm. First discovered by the Zulus, though. So we do know that they have been on this continent, which is a bit of an issue. But let's see about that. You guys are all kind of okay-ish. You're currently healing. We could upgrade you, and I am... I would really like to take this city. So I think, you know what, let's do try to go ahead here. Okay, one more turn, I think, for you. One more turn of resting and healing, and then we're going to move you forward. Mutiny, and we've got a close to victory, some population gain, uh, which I think is okay. And an osmosis event. Interesting, sometimes you do get these, and I think it's, it's a little bit of a bug, because that seems to refer to our own technology, unless I'm completely mistaken here. Right, that being said, you guys uh, should give us your city. We're going to force you to surrender. And then what we're going to do is, because I don't actually like that city, and we are actually over our city cap here, so we are going to take these guys here, and we are going to ransack the city. So we are going to put it to the torch. We are going to burn it down. And that should be actually a okay. Right, there we go. That's fine. And we should also check, by the way, the coal. Right, Kratzenberg, you've got some coal. So let's do start exploiting that. And that is actually the highest priority of everything. And that's okay. Good. Right, another idle city. City, Yeah, you guys, you don't actually need to do anything. So just uh, try to do something that's uh, non-committical. Right, we've got the settler. You are going to make it somewhere over here. Let's do send you off. You guys, uh, yeah, let's do take a look here in the north in this sort of area. Can you climb there? I don't think you can, my friend, and I think you should have known that. Sometimes it's a bit weird that the eye doesn't seem to know what's going to happen at the borders of the things. 
Right, you guys are semi-threatening. I'm hoping that at least we could no try to run away. Independent people possess sophisticated customs, rights, language, and beliefs. Where are you from? I do hope you're going to treat them well. You are from Cusco. Hmm. Okay, let's try to send you guys. Uh, now you're a little bit trapped here, aren't you? Right, let's do try to send you down there. Just so we don't get into any awkward spot here. Right, uh, let's continue to the west here. East. Right, interesting plains. Lots of clay and things. So, hmm. Could be useful to uh, conquer that at some point. Right, now there is that continent down there. Let's see what we can find in between these areas. I don't suppose it's going to be a lot, but uh, let's see. Right down here, you guys can... Uh, let's just go there. Then we're going to see what's going to be going on up here. By the way, there is either an inland sea, or there's going to be a huge inland uh, sort of bay in this area. Uh, which is interesting, because that does mean there's an Isthmus here, and there's another very interesting location here. Isthmus here. Suppose building a fortress right here, that would be an amazing choke point. A first ransack. See the sights. Appreciate the local culture huh. and take anything that's not nailed down. That's actually our first ransack? That's interesting. Now, here's the next important thing. Mechanization. That actually does give us access to the factory, which which does yield us a whooping two industry per worker, which is fantastic. That's huge. That's really great. Um, unfortunately, we are getting is losing some trade here with the English. And apparently that does do to a grievance. Was that it? No, I don't think so. No, no, no. Right, now that we have got this area here, let's actually reclaim it, and I suppose down here is fine with the with the exit to the river there. Yeah, that does look good. Let's let's go there. Let's build that. That should only take a week or so, or well, a turn. Right, we've got this, which by the way should be aptly named to North Point, because we've got West Point, and you know what? Let's call it North Cape, because. For the first time here, there's no real cliff uh, adjacent to this, so I think it's okay to do it like this. Right, that being said, you have pr uh, produced a couple of things. We have got an artisan's quarter here, we've got a maker's quarter here. I think we need another maker's quarter here to get another nice little triangle here. And then focus on whatever does increase our industry. Now the sawmill would be nice, that would give us a couple, quite a couple of things actually. Industry, that would only give us like six. We are generating some food, but not really enough I think. Food on river would be lovely. Hmm, and animal farms also kind of okay. You know what, let's uh, squeeze them in right after the manufactory there, and then we're gonna go for the high furnace. And that should be good. We have a lot of money here. Can we actually buy that out? Yeah, we can. Let's do it. Yeah, that does shave a turn off, so that's, I think, all good. And that does increase our production here quite a bit. So, yeah, I think that's a good idea. And then the sawmill is gonna be next. Right, idle armies. Let's actually move everyone first. Then you guys. You've just healed. Now, this area down here is a little bit difficult because of the algae and the turbulent waters and the fog. We can actually move through the fog, I think. Yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't reveal a whole lot down here. Right, you guys. Um, can you finally come up here? Yeah. Okay, let's continue to explore these this side of the of this continent. That's interesting locations. There are a lot of rivers here. There's some bonus here, a crater, which does give you some signs. And some hills and, and uh, mountains, so that could be a good industrial location. We're gonna see. Right, you guys have created that area up there, that's okay. Then you guys do come up here and we're going to start laying siege to this any time. Should be okay. Ooh, a battle is actually underway. Well, you've attacked us now, right? Huh. 
Well, we are going to battle that out. Now, how are we going to do go about this? So, firstly, obviously, I guess, move up the these guys there. Move the archers to the rear there. Move the gunners to there. Can we move anywhere else? I don't think so. Which is slightly unfortunate, because I would really like you to be here in reserve. Can I send you somehow to reserve? I don't think I can. So... Move. No, no, no. And deployment like that. Well, they're going to attack us with, uh, looks like knights. Which is unfortunate, because these guys are not built to withstand knights. But, here's the thing. Uh, this location is, is kind of a bad location anyway, because it is, um, well... It is a, a river tile. And it can be attacked by two adjacent pieces that are higher than that, so... Let's actually move away from there. Let's have uh, you shoot this guy, nevertheless. You can't shoot, you only have a range of one. But you can defend yourself. So... They should be suffering a little bit, and they are now focused on that l one single lane here. So, you guys should actually be able to deal very significant damage here. You're going to defend, and then you guys can start to move around there. And the turn. Are they going to attack again? Yeah, they are. But hopefully we can just shoot them. Nice. There we go. You guys continue to defend. You're going to end the turn. And they're going to do something next turn. Okay, that's that's actually working out all right for me. Right, let's set sail and see what else uh, we can find in these foggy waters here. Okay, there seems to be some sort of coastline here, which we did kind of and expect, but I'm really them. wondering. And who are they? Time more will porcelain. Tell they hmm. are helpful, helpless. Ooh, and there is more territory here of the black civilization. Interesting. Right, and then you guys, let's see. Do we find any indication here whether or not that is a bay or whether that's uh, whether it's connected to the ocean or not? Right, you're converting. That's okay-ish. Right, let's move up here with you guys. Really interesting location. That might actually be the same continent that these guys are on. Right, uh, let's actually check on these guys down here, what we are producing in all our cities. Yeah, Cliff City. What are you doing? You did build a playhouse. Okay, that's that's okay. We do need some of these things every now and then. But really, you should be trying to get the factory going as fast as possible. That's going to be huge for you. And that's actually super fantastic. Yeah, I like it. Right, other than that, your districts are mostly fine. We could build a railroad. We're not really focused on, on doing that, I think, though, so how about we continue to build some other things? Yeah, industrial production, always a good thing for us. And then some food here might not be the worst idea. I mean, this is 12 food at this point, so let's actually do that. And you're making also kind of some money, so I suppose it should be fine building that. And at some points you actually should get walls just to defend yourself or make sure that we're not going to be attacked super quickly somewhere. But we can wait on that, I think. Right, so that's Cliff City Overhill. That's these guys up here in the north. You're actually going to attach this area here right away. And that does give you quite a bit of industry. That is definitely nice and dandy. Right, so what are we going to do with that industry? Well, firstly, we have 12 people working here, so I do think that the... Why can I not build the factory? What am I missing for the factory? I don't see anything here. So, let's actually just build the sawmill. Yeah, that should be okay. A bit more stability is, is long-term appreciated, but I think what we really want is the bonus here on the research. Oh, yeah, we're doing the manufactory. That's it. Okay, yeah, but that does make sense to me. What we should also try to squeeze in is another coal mine at some point. 
Okay, that's overhill. Kranzberg. You guys down here, you did build some coal, so that's great. What else do you guys need? Um, yeah, some... Yeah, I mean, just more industry. For sure. I mean, for sure. These, these things are... The more industry you have, the more easily you spiral out of control and snowball into the rest. Edgeworth. You guys, I don't think you have a factory. No, you don't. You're going to get one. Can't tell that. Science and research quarters again. We don't really have that ever in this city. This is not exactly our intellectual capital. This is more of another location. That being said, I think down here a railroad might be a good idea. Somewhat adjacent to this harbour down there maybe. So that we can place units down there quickly if we need to. Going to get a small bonus there. Some bonus here. Hmm. That's a very limited bonus, to be honest. Well, let's do it anyway, because I do think it makes sense to place it next to the harbour. And then, where else are we going to place these things? Now, I do think one should be leading towards Overhill. Or potentially towards West Point, so that we can quickly... Yeah, towards West Point does seem a good idea. That way we can then switch around very quickly between all of our areas that we need to... Right, so let's do build one over there. I think that's that's a good plan there. Right, what else? Um, yeah, let's move everyone up. Idle armies. You guys are fine up here. I think we do have some armies down here adjacent to these guys. But nevertheless, let's do move you down here. Someone sort of in in this vicinity. Should be okay. And then you guys can start to turn colonial. Uh, we're going to walk you over here. Right. Seems fine to me. You guys have pretty much researched all of that area, so that's cool. Let's do try to get down here. Rights, language, and beliefs. I do hope you're going to try. And likewise, well, you have explored quite a bit there, so I would love for you to... Where do we want to go? Basically, we want to go south, but that right now might be a little bit harder than it would appear. Well, let's do move here, and then next turn we can try to get on that river and start to turn t south there. Oh, we'll see. Right, you guys start continue exploration, rather. Okay, yeah, we do see some coastal waters here, but... It's not really what I was expecting. Right, let's sail over here. I think that should be fine, but we are basically confirming that there's absolutely nothing here. Right, speaking of nothing, yeah, that is a dead end here. Let's do circle around there, because again, I want to know whether that is connected or not. It could be. We just, we still don't know. Right, um, how's life going on here? Well, let's see what they're going to do. Are they going to do anything? No, they don't. Well, that is slightly awkward because I think they might just wait for us to to start advancing here. And then basically say, aha, I got you. Yeah, there, there they are. Come on. Shoot. 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 Still not not done there. Fine, I suppose. Right, can't move you up. Can't you move move you up? So you're gonna attack now? But hopefully that should be it. No, it's gonna be again the next turn. Well then, let's do go for the next turn. Why is that taking so long? Oh, finally. There we go. Finally good win there. That does mean you guys can now advance and then start to lay siege. We're going to immediately go into an assault and hopefully finish them off very quickly here. You guys maybe want to retreat. You guys just all be on the front. I think that's going to be okay. Right, there we go. Shoot. Shoot. You're going to counterattack potentially against these guys. Archers can also shoot from the rear there. And you guys can start to make some advances. No, you can't. Turn round, see them attack. Yes, they do. Set 
There we go. And there is that. Another Aristar unlocked. That is that is lovely. But what I really want to do is burn that down again. Because we really don't need that city. I want to actually connect this up there. So we're going to see about that. Right. Urgent Affairs. The Human Carnival. A human carving for a mac... Okay. So we can get defined. Lower stability. More science. Or celebrating. We're going to go for the signs, of course. Of right, and well, you guys do need to something to build. Uh, don't worry about that too much. You're going to be done for in a moment. And let's uh, sail up here. Yeah, we, we still don't know. We still don't know. That's, that's so interesting. It looks like it is connected up here. Completely. But I still can't completely tell. It does look like it's a giant bay, basically. Really interesting. It does give you a little bit of a sense of exploration here, so I do appreciate that. Well, how are we going to get up on this plateau? You can only basically advance through there this way? Maybe up here? No! Well, that's interesting. This entire area here is locked off by that city. Right, now you are a little bit far away from land, so let's try to get you back in one piece. You, on the other hand, where do we need to sail you? I think we need to sail and, and explore up that way. So let's move you back towards the west. That should be cool. Good, and here we're soon going to get our first factory, which I think is going to be great. So that's 1,882. That's already pretty significant. Dramatically. Fewer people can produce more. But what about the workers? Yeah, it's yet a hundred more than that. So that's really, really great. Uh, what's your concern, guys? You're needy. Do you want to trade anything? No, you're actually trading everything that you've got. Okay, that's that's cool then. Put some population gains, some conversions here. Now, again, we have too many cities, so you guys, please do just burn this down. That's going to work. Right. Idle armies? Yeah, let's uh, get on here then. Independent people. More horses? Interesting. Time will tell if they are and a new Hopeless. civic working condition. So, stability on makers' quarters? Or money on makers' quarters? And the delay between two cities... To crisis, independent spawn on city outpost. Money or stability? I do think stability is pretty lovely. That does give us some move, I think, towards industrial output. So that's not not bad, but let's see whether it's the best investment that we've got. Right, more idle armies. You guys. Again. We were trying to make our way down here, but if we move over here, I think we're going to find that we cannot effectively move there. But up, up over here, it should be possible. These, it's interesting how difficult, how different this uh, this continent feels with all of these little rivers meandering with this inland sea lake. Actually, it's it's kind of fantastic that it's that they did manage to make that feel so different. Really, really appreciate that. Oh, and speaking of, it almost looks, there's a huge cliff here. No, there's a passage. And this Mount Everest. It does look amazing. It really does. I love it. Ah. Okay, uh, guys, do make your way back home. I think you should. Right, and then you guys do start to make your way along the river here. There's a river spring, and then so we're discovering all of this. An ally or an enemy? A barrier yeah, or but a we can move up a little bit further, I think. Right, you guys do make your way here. And then you're going to heal up there and start exploring later on. What else have we got? What are we researching right now? Electricity. Yeah, I think we did do the other thing, right? So, that's cool. You guys are building the sawmill and then various other things. I would... Ooh, Five turns, 8,000. That is quite a, bot, a lot for very little science, actually. 
Plus 10% food would be nice though. For the fertilizer plant. The first ransack. I wouldn't call it elegant. But it may teach I don't think it's our difficult. first ransack. Technically we have just ransacked another thing not that long ago. So we can build something right here back, uh, which I think is not bad. It, I like the location here on this river tile, so we're going to do that. And once that has been established, we're going to attach it to North Cape, because I do think that's a good idea. Right, you have got a lot of industry there. You are building 300. That's not bad. It's not fantastic. We can build the manufactory. It's not that crucial. Some food might not be the worst idea either. Let's go into into flot irrigation afterwards so that you can gain more people, which we're going to then use to have more industrial workers and so on. Okay, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Idle City, oh, West Point. You've got the Academy. Lovely, I like it. That's, that's such a good, good production there. You do need the industry, though. And at some point, you should get the food, too. You're also making money, so can we actually buy out this thing? No, we can't. Because 10% money on you, that's going to be kind of significant. You are set to be our primary money-making thing here, so I think that's okay. Right, the settlers. We will actually need to make a decision where we want to place these guys. Now, there is a little bit of ebony here, which does increase industry and science. All of these things are fantastic. I would potentially like a couple of river tiles. And I think this up here might be a very nice location. We've got some wood. We can make a claim towards this area here. There's no luxury in there, though. The luxury is really start to be down here. What is this down there? That's more science. That doesn't help us that much. I do like the idea of, of these river valleys and expanding, trying to expand out from there. This already is a kind of a good tile here. We've got some coastal reefs that would be protecting you. It would be a pretty good city right away, I think. With a lot of bonuses, especially if we are on rivers. We could also just found it a little bit inland here. In this hex. And then claim this area here downstream afterwards. Not the worst idea, I think. Let's do try to get you on there. Good. I like it. Right, what else? Idle armies here. Honestly, you guys can just be stationed here. You don't need to be too... Actually, don't need to be doing anything else. Right, that's... Ooh. What a weird, weird shape this continent has. That is so interesting. All of these little gaps here. All of these little choke points. I dig it. Right. Let's try to get there. Ooh, more salpita, more copper too. Mm, and you guys, yeah, for the moment just do get back here and then maybe heal up a little bit. There is some interesting exploration down here to be done, but... Yeah, I think we're going to heal up with you. And that should be okay. Right, you guys, do we want to send you south? I I think we might want to send you inland here a little bit. No doubt this independent uh -huh. people possess sophisticated customs, rights, language, and beliefs. I do hope you wow. treat them well. Even more porcelain. These are rich lands. Right, that being said. So you're building the sawmill, you're gonna all, all go all industri industrial, right? We do have Electricity afterwards, and electricity is huge because it does give you food on farms, quarters, industrial stuff, and the coal plant, which is again going to be pretty useful. So 
All of that's pretty fantastic. Um, let's take a brief look here at Overhill. You've got these things too, right? So, you are building the coal mine at some point? Yeah, you are going to be. So, we're going to have two coal at that point. Shall we try to grab more? There's a little bit down there in the south. I don't actually see that much. There's a little bit over here. It's very little up here. There is some over here. So we probably want to grab this terrain here too, right? So that actually means that you guys need to move down here and start claiming it. The area up here is going to be claimed at some point too. And then we're going to get more mercury and more lead. On all city science per researchers. These things are huge. So you know what? Let's do try to do that. But that being said, I think now is a good place to put in a cut. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Do leave a like and everything, and I hope to see you around next time. Bye-bye.